Hi and welcome to London. Uh, I'm back here for a bit of street photography but it's a really drab day so I always seem to gravitate to the Thames whenever I come to London. I mean before I came out I thought about maybe doing Shoreditch, Brick Lane you know or Camden or somewhere different but I always end up down by the Millennium Bridge and the uh, and St Paul's and and so it is again today I found my, I find myself here so um, we're gonna have a crack at some street photography but the light's really terrible so don't hold your breath for anything uh, <laughs> uh, but we'll see how it goes. The thing I'm going to have to do is that I'm going to have to try and find some light sources from somewhere. I, I usually go back to this default position when the weather's so flat. I need to find some artificial light somewhere, I think, to try and make the most out of uh, what I've got here. But it's, oh, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to vlog this. <laughs> I've been running round in circles Chasing my tail and lost my way Seeking shelter in different corners Never finding a place to stay Somehow ended up here on the ground Brother, help me up, I've fallen down I know that I've heard the ones that I hold dear The ones I love Thought that I would find the answers Drinking till my feet felt numb Just like father did when I was young I don't know how I could be so dumb As I said, I'm in London, I'm by the Thames, and I've got my Canon here with me. I've also got my 24 to 70 lens and my tripod, and I'm gonna get some long exposures of the city at night. Uh, to be honest with you, this was inspired by uh, Bob Walsh, uh, who's got an uh, Instagram channel uh, or an Instagram feed, uh, and the name is Bob Walsh Photography. And he's, he takes some fantastic images, and I thought, I've gotta come and try and at least capture something similar to that so uh so i came here earlier in the day the weather was absolutely shocking and to be honest with you i just i wasn't really feeling it because the weather was so bad but like i said come here this evening come back out this evening and it's just london's come alive and all of these lights can only lead to good images i think so uh yeah let's go and see if we can work out the first one So, so I don't know if you can see me down here because it's pretty dark, but I'm stood down by the left-hand side of the Millennium Bridge, looking out over towards St. Paul's. And what I'm doing here is I'm shooting off a long exposure panoramic. I think I'm shooting at something like 30 seconds at F13, ISO 100. And I'm just sweeping across with the bridge on the right-hand side and St. Paul's on the right-hand side, and just sweeping across and catching all the lights and the reflections in the Thames as we go across to the left. Uh, there's some 
fantastic um, low hanging cloud around the shard as well and over in the city but uh, I'm going to go over to that in a minute. It's a bit of a shame that there's no light on the Millennium Bridge. I don't know if it has a light on it normally but there's nothing on it at the moment which is a bit of a shame but uh, we'll still try and work with it anyway. Actually, uh, the tide's out and obviously the Thames is tidal and the tide's out but uh, I don't know if there's any way of getting down onto a foreshore and to be honest with you it looks a little bit muddy but uh, I can't imagine I'd get a fantastic angle if I could get down there somehow so I might check it out and see if I can. So I've actually made it down to the foreshore now I don't know if you can see me or not but I'm actually on the banks of the Thames here I've walked down the steps down by the Millennium Bridge and I'm catching a lower view of the bridge which is on the left hand side of the frame now with St Paul's Cathedral just over the back and uh, once I finish this shot I'm going to move over a bit and try and catch the city without this, uh, I'm not sure what it is but some sort of pier in the way so uh, yeah, I'm going to wander over and see if I can catch the city and that should look really good hopefully. Um, I've got a bit of a foreground interest here <clears throat> down the bottom here with this uh, sort of big stone with something in and then there's a tyre so I mean it might look good, it might not, I might clone it out, I don't know, but uh, yes, it's much better down here, just got to make sure that the tide doesn't come in too quick and trap me. <laughs> I'm just shooting the city now and I've got to say the view is absolutely phenomenal from down here. It's fantastic, it's just such a great thing to uh, to come and take pictures of. And the other thing is it's so quiet because everyone else is up there, on the either on the bridge or over on the walkway. And I'm down here on the shore and there's no one around me except one of the guys taking some pictures. And uh, yes, yeah, oh, it's great, just brilliant down here. Uh, I'm still shooting at 30 seconds. I don't need any filters on, don't need anything at all. I'm just shooting away 30 seconds F. Uh, F13, actually crikey I'm on F20 I better change that. Uh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and zoom in now a bit and get a, a closer tighter panorama of the city because the top of all the buildings are shrouded by fog and it's just it's just fantastic really beautiful so uh, yeah I'm gonna do that now. That was really good walking down there on the banks. I think I've got some really good shots there. I'm really pleased with how they've turned out or how they've turned out in camera anyway. Uh, hopefully they'll look really good when I get them home and stitch them together. But uh, sort of a unique shot from here really. I'm not sure how many people would actually go down onto the bank and take some shots, but it seemed really quite accessible and the tide was still going out. So uh, yeah, a long way to go. I think I've finished off the day now with uh, the classic shot of uh, St Paul's Cathedral over Millennium Bridge, the one that everybody takes. Uh, I got swamped by uh, a number of uh, Far Eastern tourists in their group with their leader and they uh, hung around for a bit taking, taking photos right in front of my camera, but it's fine, that's absolutely fine, not a problem. I was uh, more than happy to wait until they're gone. And uh, just met a couple of nice guys who were here from uh, Abingdon and they've uh, Hello if you're watching, I don't know if you ended up subscribing or watching, but if you did, hello. Um, they're taking some shots, they've been around for the day around London and uh, I think everyone gets that classic shot really, it's got to be done. 
Um, there's a little bit of vibration on the bridge. I, I, uh, I took um, I took a panoramic, and there was a little bit of vibration at times, which may have interfered. But uh, we shall have a look when we get home and see how it goes. But uh, yeah, I think I'm finished now, and I'm going to head home. So uh, yeah. So as I said, that's me done. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. Um, started off a really dodgy day, but uh, it's ended up really nice. And I think I've got some nice shots and there are so many more nighttime shots I can get from around this area so I'll definitely be back. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you have then uh, you know what to do. Uh, give it a thumbs up, give it a comment uh, and if you want to subscribe and you haven't then please feel free and until next week I'll see you again soon.